Welcome to a special edition of Football Fever. Harker Heights vs. Coppers Cove, a huge District 12 6A matchup. Hello again, everybody. I'm Alan Mandel, joined by two of our football experts, Jordan Mason and Clay Whittington. Jordan covers Harker Heights. Clay covers Coppers Cove. Jordan, Heights going into this game. This is a must-have, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Kyle Heights is uh, finding himself behind the eight ball now after uh, losing to Shoemaker last week. Kind of controversial loss, an uh, onside kick that appeared to be covered by Harker Heights. Official says it was a cover by Shoemaker, and that's basically your ball game. So uh, Heights now has lost two in a row in district. Probably not something they ever expected to say this season, but that's where they are. And now they go into a hostile environment at Coppers Cove, a uh, place that they haven't won in in years. So uh, they really need a win, and, they, and they're really probably going to be looking to get the offense going in their games that they've won this year. Harker Heights has averaged almost 44 points a game, but in three mm. losses, they've only averaged 10 points a game. It really doesn't add up, to be honest. But uh, they, they were knocking on the door a couple times against Shoemaker. Obviously, those are all great defenses that they played as well, but Cove is a good defense. And so they're going to uh, probably want to get the offense going. They only had 82 yards rushing. Troy Smith was the leading rusher. He had 71 of those. And the, through the air, uh, Jordan Weller was the leading receiver with 44 yards. It's just not what they want to do. They feel like they're an explosive offense. That's what Coach Edwards said. We're an explosive offense. We just haven't shown it. And obviously, going up against Cove, you need to show that because, uh, I mean, even Midway couldn't slow Coppers Cove down. And they've got mm -hmm. one of the best defenses in the state. So you're going to have to put up points to play with Cove, and that's what they're probably going to be looking to do. Defensively, uh, Coach Edwards said they're going to look to take away what they do best. He was kind of coy. He didn't really say specifically what that was, <laughs> but he said we want to take away what Coppers Cove does best. So um, they, they're going in. This is Coach Edwards' first trip to Coppers Cove. They're excited about it. They want to get the ball back rolling in the right direction, and so it uh, should be a fun one. You know, Clay, it's a good question. What does Cove do best? Just about everything, correct? I mean, this is a very, very good football football team and as you wrote so well about uh, their game last week against Midway they played Midway very very tough correct yeah yeah I mean uh, it was a loss but it was uh, it was one that they walked away from with their heads held high they they honestly believed that if there was another quarter they could have maybe pulled that one out that's easy to say after the fact but uh, you know the the point is that they they believe that and uh, they they believe they can hang with Midways and other teams like that and um they they want to. I'm sure they want to prove it against Heights. I mean, last week was their uh, shot at possibly knocking off Midway and recapturing the district crown, bringing it back to Coppers Cove. Obviously, that's not completely out of the picture, but they need help. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody has to knock off Midway along the way for that to happen. But a win a win against Heights secures them a playoff spot, and in the in the big picture, that's what they want. You know, they want to make the playoffs. They want to make deep runs in the playoffs. That's that's how they identify themselves more, probably more so than district championships is is those playoff appearances and those playoff runs. So uh, this is this is an opportunity for them to do that. And uh, but th they're not they're not going to take the nights lightly. Uh, Coach Welch, he you know he gushes over the talent that they have. He's uh, he speaks very highly of of the Knights, uh, the playmakers, and their coaching staff. And uh, they know that they're going to be in in for a fight. Uh, you know, last week they they just fell into a, they fell into a huge hole against uh, against Midway and against a team like that, you're probably not going to be able to climb completely out of a hole once you put yourself in it. So, uh, but th they made they made a good run, and now, like I said, they have they actually have momentum off that loss, and so they're going to be kind of rolling into this game and they're with their spirits high and and knowing that you know this this can get them that playoff spot that they. They want so bad, so uh, I'm looking for them to bounce back, if you will. I mean, mm -hmm. not, not that they had a horrible game, but I, I'm looking for them to to put together a complete game, avoid the turnovers that that killed them last week, and uh, you know, if if they get the way, they're gonna they're gonna be going into Shoemaker a week from now, already having things wrapped up, you know, playoff spot wrapped up. So we'll see how it goes. Like uh, like I said, it's one thing to say, it's another thing to go out on the field and do it, but. Uh, they, one, one thing for sure is that they're confident. They're, they're definitely a confident team. Midway did not take that away from them. Okay, well, every week, as our readers know, uh, you both make your predictions on every high school football game. Can we get a prediction uh, from you on this one, Clay? It's going to be tough. I mean, uh, you know, these district games, these rivalry games, you, I always believe you kind of throw the records out the window. Um, you know, Jordan mentioned how they haven't won, they haven't beat Cove in forever, but, you know, all streaks come to an end at some point. If you're 
you're twisting my arm, making me put money down on it, I'm probably <laughs> going to go with Cove. Okay. But uh, I'm expecting a good game either way. Okay, Jordan? Uh, yeah, I mean, Heights played Cove decent last year. They, they didn't get ran out of there like certain teams did, and they're, they're pretty motivated. So I'm actually going to I'm gonna go with Heights in the upset. It'll probably be in the 30s, though, and these two teams are not <laughs> going to play a game in the 20s, so maybe something like 38, 34 between these teams. Okay, we appreciate it. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Clay. And thank you for watching Football Fever. We'll see you right here next week.